Street Trash from 1987. Just saw this recently, but I remember seeing this as a kid. I could just, I could just never forget what name this movie was. But I remember, I think it was my uncle or my grandma rent, renting this at the video store. I remember uh, the beginning where, uh, yeah, the friend, the uh, one of the alcoholic brothers, the homeless people. You know, one of the homeless brothers, he was going to steal some liquor from the guy at the beginning of the movie. Those are, those are, these are certain scenes I remember as a kid, but uh, now I just watched this recently. It's one of the bizarre, one of the most weirdest movies I ever saw, and I like it. Mostly the plot is about this store owner, uh, yeah, this store owner, he finds this abandoned, uh, these abandoned bottles of alcohol, and he sells them to the homeless people because homeless people would love to drink alcohol. You know, they just love to get drunk. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you know it's true. So, uh, whenever uh, they take a sip of it, they start to uh, melt. Their bodies start to explode. It was this uh, gruesome fashion. If you watch this movie, you know what I'm talking about. It is so hideous, but in a comical way. But the movie is also about these two uh, alcoholic homeless brothers, uh, Fred and uh, Kevin. Mostly Fred, the guy with the beard. They're just coping with this, uh, you know, they're living in the junkyard and they're just coping with their situation. And uh, the youngest one, I think, uh, Kevin, he has a romantic interest in this, uh, I don't know if she's Korean or Chinese, the secretary that works for... Uh, I forget his name, but the actor's played by this bigger fat guy, Pat Ryan, the late Pat Ryan. You might remember in the Toxin Avenger as the evil mayor. He plays like the owner of this junkyard. He's kind of a weird character. He always plays up weird characters, but uh, anyway, that's, and they also, uh, I think it's the other side of the junk, junkyard. I could be wrong, but uh, there's this character played by a, uh, Vic Noto. And by the way, none of these uh, actors are real celebrities. Uh, they just, I think they just did one movie. They really haven't acted much, but I'm just going to say some of the actors' name anyway. But the character Bronson, he's this big former Vietnam veteran that on the other side of the junk, junkyard, he's like the boss. He's the leader. And one scene, he kills this guy. Uh, he kills, now there's this couple of a boyfriend and a girlfriend, or they're driving, and the boyfriend is trying to be nice, but the girlfriend is, come on, this guy looks dangerous, and the guy, Bronson, he kills him, smashing his head, smashes his head in front of his car, oh, it's just, that guy is a, uh, he's a former Vietnam, Vietnam veteran, you know they're crazy, that guy is fucking crazy. But I don't want to go too much in this movie, uh, you know, there are certain scenes I always remember as a kid. I'm just going to talk about the certain scenes. I'm not going to talk about the whole plot. But the whole plot is about this alcohol. And this and this cop is trying to discover what's going on. When people when these homeless people are drinking it, they start to explode. I don't think it's really explained uh, why the chemicals are making them explode. The alcohol, I mean, it's not really explained who did it. They just, uh, the, like the store owner finds it. Uh, the liquor in the back, and one scene when the uh, the clerk or the or the store or the store owner when he drinks it, he dies as well. But I don't think that they discovered uh, why it was there in the back in the first place. But I don't think it does. It doesn't matter anyway. But there's a scene where this old oh, oh, sorry, I have to uh, <clears throat> hate when I do that. I just hate when I do that. But anyway. This one bum, he goes on top of the fire uh, escape. You know those stairs. When when there's a fire, you have to climb down the stairs on a fire escape. I think that's his home there. But anyway, he talks to this pussy cat. He always calls this pussy cat pussy. Hello, pussy. I'm going to drink my uh, liquor, pussy. But when he drinks it, he explodes. His body melts as well. And he doesn't really explode. He just... I don't think the camera shows uh, his body melting. But you know, he just he dies while he drinks the liquor, and his body turns into ooze. The first victim, uh, he steals uh, the liquor. No, um, the character of Mike, he steals the liquor from the store, and the other guy, the other bum, steals it as well. 
But when the bum drinks it, he sits on his toilet, abandoned toilet in this, uh, no, he sits on the toilet in this, uh, you know, this building that's already been uh, torn down, and when he drinks it, his whole body comes inside, of, uh, comes down in the toilet. It's so hilarious and mean and very cool. What else do I remember? I remember, uh, the black bum, he goes to the supermarket to steal stuff, and the white lady catches him and is like, what are you looking at, you honky? Oh, well, however he says it, I forget what he says, but he's, he, she uh, tells the one of the, I guess the food store manager. He sees him and he he asks him uh, to come with him, but he leaves anyway. He does. I don't think they call the cops on him. It's just hilarious how he steals the chicken. What else he steals in his pants? Uh, and that was his plan to steal the chicken, all the food to prepare for uh, the homeless, uh, the other the two homeless brothers for their meal tonight. There's also a scene where a doorman, he sees a Mike uh, the, st stealing a, they call him a black suit, the, this main mafia guy's girlfriend in the alley. The doorman was played by the guy who played Jeffrey Frankenhooker. He was he was a really cool actor in, the, in this, and in, in Frankenhooker as well, but uh, that's, all, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to tell you much about the home movie, but there's one scene that really disturbed me. It was about this bum who was taking a piss in Bronson. I think he was about to kill Mike. Over money, I think. And when the guy was sticking his, you know, penis in the... When he was taking a piss, Bronson, he actually... I'm not, I don't think he accidentally, but he, he didn't know what it was. And he cuts it off and everybody, all the bums were playing uh, catch with the man's penis. I'm serious. So you got to watch the movie to know what I'm talking about. But that really does happen. But anyway, check out uh, Street Trash. That's all I want to talk about this movie. It's not really a whole plot. It's just bums, uh, they drink this booze and they melt, their body dies from it. That's, that's basically the plot of the movie. I like in the Blu-ray, you get these uh, little, little packages. That's what the liquor was called. I can't pronounce it, but that's what the liquor was called in the, blue, uh, in the movie Street Trash. Got this other cool book with these other movies like Demons. I have Demons on uh, Blu-ray. You can see it right there, Demons. Not Blu-ray, but DVD, but they got some cool movies uh, here I might check out too. But Blu-ray, I mean, Street Trash, it's really a fun movie. You got to check it out. And I usually talk about weird, bizarre WTF movies. WTF stands for what the fuck, by the way. But that's what this movie is like, The Toxin Avenger. This was directed by uh, James M. Murrow, if I pronounce his last name correctly. But I'm about to end this video. I just wanted to say, if you haven't seen this film yet, uh, check out uh, Street Trash. It's really a really weird movie. But that's my taste in movies anyway. Thank you for watching, and thank you for subscribing subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. You don't have to like me. You don't have to respect me. You don't. You can't even stand me. Just please subscribe. I just need more subscribers. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Have a good day.